Hey Sci Guys, Cyanide B here and welcome to another video. This is a video I found that I filmed about two years ago when Medusa was a wee little one. She was only a yearling at the time and you can see just how much she's grown from the recent videos that I've made with her. Um, so what happened in this shed, since I was a new snake mom, I didn't even realize she was in shed and I accidentally, I fed her and she ate and the skin kind of got all bunched up a little bit so that's why I was actually able to film this in the morning time. Um, you can see that the readings on her little thermostat thing are a bit off. That's because she shoved the probe up the side of the glass. Please don't call me a bad snake mum because the humidity is at 33%, alright? It wasn't. It was, it was all good, alright? I promise. Um, I love this video so much because if you watch it in HD, you can literally see each individual row of scales come off and it's just something that you pretty much never get to see because snakes shed at night time. Well, these guys do. And also watching an arboreal snake shed is so much more fun because they use um, all their sticks and all their climbing stuff so you can really see it happen. And it's normally in one long piece afterwards. It wasn't this time because as you can see, it was bunched up a little bit at the end there, but she got through it just fine. Um, as, as opposed to a bull python or something like that, which are not arboreal at all, normally you'll just find it kind of bunched up next to their hide or their water bowl or something like that. But that's why arboreal snakes, um, they're a lot more fun to watch shed, I suppose. I have seen her shed once since, because it, it was a night that she escaped from her tank one of two times, and um, proceeded to shed on top of her tank at 4am and I had to wait until she was done, and it took her like an hour before I could put her back into her tank. So that was a fun experience. So I actually have seen her shed twice, but this time I managed to capture it. And shes I just can't get over how tiny she was. And just look how brilliant, even at this age, only about a year old, she's just so bright, she's so high yellow. She's just such a beautiful coastal. I mean, a lot of the coastals that you see um, are generally more browns, blacks. She's just so high yellow with that really dark black around her yellow patterning. I often get people ask me if she's part jungle because she's so high yellow. She's just the most beautiful baby I've ever seen and I'm definitely not biased. There's no way. Um, I actually still have this skin, to be, to be honest. I make, I make little crafts when she sheds, so... Still got it! Baby's first shed! This obviously wasn't her first shed since she was a year old, but... It actually took her quite a long time to have her first shed when I first got her. I was a little bit concerned, because she didn't shed... I got her when she was three weeks old, and I don't think she shed until she was three or four months old, which made me a bit concerned it hadn't happened. Then I just got home one day after a night out, and there was a tiny little skin. As you can see, my camera skills have improved over the last two years. Just got that little wee bit to go. Alright guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to leave us a comment because we thrive on the validation of strangers.